Hello. Welcome back to Sobriety is Superb. So in the last video, part two of three, we discussed repenting to God for abusing our temple, asking God to forgive us for things that we've done, even if it's for self-medicating, we still have to ask God to forgive us for that. Because the fact that you're still watching this video, you're still alive, you're still breathing, God's been very merciful. Many people don't get an opportunity to make more than one mistake. They get drunk, they get behind the wheel, and they get into a car accident and that's it. They don't have a chance to keep making the same mistake over and over again. So part of the gratitude to God for giving you and me another chance is to repent for what was done against the temple that he has given us, his temple. The second part is to ask God for strength. Strength. One day at a time. But days are made of minutes, moments. So it's really one moment at a time. One moment at a time, we need strength to maintain our sobriety, to maintain our decision to stay sober. And connected to that prayer for strength is a prayer for wisdom. They go hand in hand. A big part of being strong is being wise. Making decisions that can make or break your sobriety. I went through a list of ideas in my mind about all the reasons that society and ourselves have given ourselves permission to drink. New Year's, New Year's Eve, everyone's birthday, everyone's baby shower, a date, first date, a breakup, a divorce, a wedding, your wedding, a friend's wedding, a wake after someone's funeral, a baby shower, New Year's, um, sorry, Christmas, uh, any type of 4th of July celebration, any gathering, a barbecue, family reunion. Technically, the list goes on into infinity as to reasons why we should drink. And we have been conditioned to think that there's always a reason to have a drink. The mind is so powerful that with this statement that I'm going to make right now, you can change the way you think about it if you start to tell yourself this sentence. There is never a reason to drink. There is never a reason to drink. Life is filled with events, right? I just ran off a string of different holidays and events that can happen in life. But this is part of life. Life is filled with moments. And those moments oftentimes include events. Some of the events that I, I named, I didn't name nightclubs and things like that, but those are also events. Those are, there's a special event going on at this nightclub, you've been invited, you see a flyer, there's a party. These events can come and go. The funny thing about them is there's a date and there's a time, and if you don't go there, guess what? You miss that event. But there's always another one. Fill your mind with new events. Fill your mind with things that are creative. Things that are healthy. I had to turn down so many events in the beginning. After a while, I stopped getting invited. But guess what? I was grateful. Thank you. Thank you for respecting the fact that I don't want to go somewhere 
where I'm going to be spending money or putting myself at risk to drinking. And I didn't have to tell everybody, oh no, I can't go to this event because I don't want to drink. Just say, no, I, I won't be able to make it. I won't be there. I have other plans. My other plans could be getting to sleep early. You want to talk about getting good sleep? Sobriety. I have the best sleep. Being sober. Blacking out does not count. <laughs> Just making a joke. But real sleep. No alcohol involved. That's the purest sleep. Catching up on sleep. Pampering myself. Taking a hot bath. Doing a facial. Doing my hair. Working on a art project. Working on a vocal project. Watching stuff on television. Actually, I really watch YouTube. But watching a series. Watching my favorite podcaster. Um, reading. Listening to music at home, cooking, cleaning. It's like, these are events too. These are healthy things. Working out. Taking a new course. Learning something that you've never learned before. These are events. These are things that can fill your life. Make you a better person. And there are some people in your life right now that eventually will fade away. Meaning they will not have the same interest as you because your interests have changed. And guess what? That's part of life too. The, the reason for this video is to really discuss there's never a reason to have a drink. Life is full of wonderful events. You can make new events, change everything, change your whole life. Thank you for watching.